All right, we're in the front, uh, so we got communications down below us. I think that's navigation. It's the main turret, which we're going to go in. It's the sea cabin. So this is all. Oh, that's nice. Captain's high off. Wow. Luxury. Are they having a meeting in there? Yeah, really. Don't lock us in. Oh, you're unlocking the door. I yeah. you're locking us in. I'm going in the turret. I mean, look at how thick this, look at how thick this is. With an eye. This is a safe. each other. Oh, here's the bridge. And it's locked. Well, that isn't... What is that thing? Bridge is here, but I think we can get in on the other side. I don't think so. Okay. Did you see the glass? There's 11 floors on this thing. Ryan? Big bell. Oh, hello. The views get better as we go. It's gotta be loud. All right, we're at the very top and it's fenced off. So we're gonna show you what is not available. What the next floor is. So this is what happens when you don't keep up the paint job. It's been a long time since that lock has been loosened. Oh. <laughs> I, I was looking at the lock saying it's a long time since it's been loosened. Yeah. Oh, they don't lock them anymore. That's tempting. Well, they got to get up there somehow. Not you, them. <laughs> All right, we're down below now. And it's just even more fascinating than above. This is crew quarters. So if you don't like closed quarters, close quarters. Holy you wouldn't like crew quarters. You would not like crew quarters. Oh, uh, here's this, the galley. Oh, this is the officer's galley. Ooh. A little deep fryer, all right. Little cheap, cheap plate. Yeah, we saw the like uh, the film area, the mechanics, communication, uh, and the bunks are in the room. So if you're, oh, wait, if you're in the shop, wood shop, you're sleeping right above the wood desk or the you know work table. You and eight other people who are in the workshop. 
Let's see if we got some more bunks over here. No, this is just storage. I think we're heading into the looks, engine room. Let's see a bag of coffee. Oh, it's the officer's dining. Some cards, some poker, nice. This is the crew. Oh, right. This is the officer's quarters. Much nicer rooms. 20 pounds of oats. Beans. Much nicer quarters. Pears. Must have been lieutenants. Pinups. Two in a room. The smell is of fresh paint right now. Can't imagine what the constant change in smells would have been down here. Oh, just bunks everywhere. Stores. Hey, hey, I need some new boots. Give me new boots. Gun racks, the pressing room, and mind you, the cot is in here. So if you're that guy or the sewing room, tailor shop, you slept above your above your work. Right, so this is the food. Still marine stores. Ah, I see those. That's the supplies for going on land. Oh. Okay, I don't got much there. All right, this is the coating room. Tokyo Rose. Oh, X-ray dark room. Oof. Where the X-rays are. <laughs> That's crazy. And, and photos. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you know those X-rays were healthy. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, here's the dentistry. Oh. Oh, uh, they got yes. two tables in there for the dentist. Oh, the isolation ward. Oh, that's right. That's for pandemics. Boy, that must have been fun to get into the isolation ward. Talk about seasickness in there. Sick we bay. tried not to do anything that we, you would categorize today as a major operation, although there were a few done by necessity. This is really an unbelievable tour. I mean, highly recommend it. So much learning. I mean, you know, just everything's glass and, and metal here for the surgeries. Well, this is why you get afraid of needles. Look at the size of these needles. I can see why everybody's afraid of needles. Previous generations. These are not micro needles. <laughs> Those are big, fat, painful needles. And all the IVs are glass. This is the sick bay. Uh, you know, we got a bone saw just standing right here. Oh. Yeah, so if you're... This is sick bay. Right? You just had a battle. I see... 10, 12 cons, and there's 2,500 men. How can this possibly have been enough? So here's a bio lab. And we got a dispensary. Clerical office. 
doctor's office. Ugh, typewriters everywhere. He's just got a textbook. He's huh. learning from. What's up, guys? We are finishing our self-guided tour at the USS Alabama. It's taken us three hours to get through most everything. And uh, we haven't even, like, we, we only did two of the three tours. Two of the, I think this is the third. No, we didn't do the, 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 all the crew stuff. This is the front of the ship. We didn't do the back of the ship. Back bottom? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's just a ton of stuff here, and the placards were really just flying by too. But uh, it's been incredible. This is an amazing place. Highly recommend coming here if you have a couple hours. That's not a good sign. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Boat's coming to a stop. <laughs> I've learned so much about just how battleships operate and the things that you have to take into mind as a captain, as someone who's organizing this, and what life was like uh, if you were living on one of these battleships, uh, whether that be a crew member, a captain, or above and beyond. So... Dentist. Yeah, what was your favorite part? You know, all of it. I mean, just all of it. I mean, looking at the electronics rooms, the sick bay, the gun turrets, I mean, there's so many... As I was saying, at one point, we were walking around and I realized that, you know, the boat's swaying during all this. You know, you're, we're only talking about life under attack or life not under attack. But we're missing the whole, like, the boat's moving back and forth the whole time. This just must have been a freaking nightmare all the time. My favorite part was seeing the pharmacy, seeing the dentist, and seeing how uh, people were cared for beyond their, their job here on the battleship. So, because they're, they're they're here for months at a time. They're yeah. they're not they're not on land. They're not at home. Everything took place here. Yeah, uh, the supply and resupply. So we got cots everywhere for 2,450 men, 2,500 men. They're they're not leaving the boat, but all the stuff that has to come and go, the whole resupply. Where do you store it once you when you're at capacity, right? You leave port or some ship resupplies you. Where do you must be? Stacked every corner of the ship must have a box or a crate or something in it. Yeah. I know that we're really low on memory right now, so we're going to sign off. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like if you enjoyed this USS Alabama tour. We'll catch you next time. Peace.